This segment is sponsored by Austin Cyberknife. Trigeminal neuralgia might be a term you're unfamiliar with, but maybe you've heard of it in another way. It's a chronic pain condition. You might have heard somebody talk about it. It affects the trigeminal nerve. It can be treated, this is a good news, with Austin Cyberknife. So here to tell us more about that and the benefits of using Austin Cyberknife is Dr. Paimon Gafori. Dr. Gafori, good morning. Good morning. This one you said is a pretty tough one because it can be so debilitating. My understanding is that Trigeminal Neuralgia Awareness Day was just recently recognized nationally on October 7th. So let's talk about it and what the purpose of the Awareness Day was. The awareness is very important because I think it may uh, help uh, patients and, and doctors and other providers uh, hopefully get to a more accurate diagnosis more quickly so those patients can get the appropriate help. Yeah, and let's talk about the causes of trigeminal neuralgia and then what it might feel like for someone who's experiencing it. Patients often experience uh, shocking or electric or stabbing intermittent pains uh, and this can to, for most people, it starts uh, as a mild or infrequent pain, and over time, it tends to increase both in intensity, so when the attacks happen, they're more severe, and uh, also in frequency. Can it happen to anyone, or is it a certain subset of patients that we would see it in? From very young ages, uh, teens and 20s, all the way to uh, 80s and 90s. and. The incidence of it does increase with age, and so it's more likely uh, to occur with increasing age, but it really can happen to anybody. And most commonly, it's caused by a blood vessel that's pushing on the cranial nerve five, uh, and that pressure over time causes dysfunction in the nerve and those electrical kind of sharp pains to develop. Um, and it can have certain triggers. Nerve fibers can detect signals like uh, brushing uh, your teeth or chewing food or even things like wind on your face or someone touching your face. Are there different types that people present with? There is. Broadly speaking, uh, we think of trigeminal neuralgia as type 1 uh, or classical uh, trigeminal neuralgia, which is uh, characteristic of this intermittent uh, uh, sharp uh, electrical type pains often with uh, triggers. Usually the patients don't have pain at baseline like all the time. Oh, okay. Type 2 or atypical facial pain typically has different characteristics. Uh, it can be uh, a more uh, dull uh, or constant aching or burning pain. The uh, triggers are not quite the same or possibly not as reliable. Um, and we do have sometimes patients that have features of both. A pain syndrome can uh, sometimes transform from a pure classical type 1 pain syndrome into a mixed uh, uh, picture with type 1 and type 2 because more nerve uh, damage or dysfunction can happen over the years. What's the traditional approach when you see trigeminal neuralgia uh, for doctors no matter where they are? Well, the first uh, and most important uh, therapy is medical therapy, which is medicines uh, for trigeminal neuralgia. That's considered the gold standard first-line therapy uh, because uh, not only does it help relieve the pain, but it offers uh, good information on the responsiveness of that type of uh, facial pain to these medicines, as well as the potential options for uh, long-term therapy. So many patients will have very good uh, pain relief uh, and excellent control of the pain with medicines alone, sometimes for many years or even their whole lives. We always encourage evaluation by a neurologist or a pain specialist to uh, evaluate the options of medicines uh, as the first line therapy. Let's talk about how CyberKnife treats trigeminal neuralgia. It delivers very pinpoint, highly precise, high dose radiation to the trigeminal nerve at the root of the nerve as it exits the brainstem. What do you hear from patients who have used CyberKnife um, for this treatment? Type 1 classical trigeminal neuralgia, which is by far the most common type of trigeminal neuralgia, has uh, a very good prognosis uh, when treated by uh, stereotactic radiosurgery with CyberKnife or with microvascular decompression. Initially, what we consider as a measure of success is the initial response rate, which is typically high. It can be uh, higher than 90%. The long-term pain relief uh, is whether or not a patient achieves uh, permanent uh, pain relief over many years. We estimate that the probability of success is approximately 65 to 70 percent uh, for patients uh, with classical type 1 trigeminal neuralgia, which means that over time some patients can recur 
and that's uh, irrespective of the type of treatment, whether you have surgery or uh, cyber knife. Good news for people who are maybe still on pain medications, they can possibly be significantly reduced, right, with the use of cyber knife um, in the appropriate patient. It has the potential to achieve either long-term pain control with the hope of not requiring medicines at all, or uh, long-term pain control with reduced need for uh, medicines. There's no downtime, right? It's an outpatient treatment uh, and usually is about 30 to 60 minutes and there's no recovery or downtime during the treatment. There's no anesthesia or uh, incisions or any sort of um, a surgical uh, intervention. Uh, it's purely non-invasive treatment um, and for the most part it just feels like you're getting a you know x-ray or a CT scan. Dr. Gafori, thank you for taking the time this morning to share your expertise with us and we'll see you again soon, okay? Great, thank you. Thanks for having us. Austin Cyberknife is located on I-35 near the Del Seton Medical Center at the University of Texas. Call them at 512-324-8060 or go to austincyberknife.com for more info. This segment is sponsored by Austin Cyberknife.